Well, we did it. We bought a brand new Jayco 30.5 MLOK 2020. This video is for people who are thinking of buying a Jayco. Maybe you could keep thinking about buying a Jayco. Few issues. Um, I was cooking breakfast the other day. Inside here, caught fire. Don't know why. Now I'm supposed to leave the trailer at the dealer for a minimum of two weeks so they can fix that. Other tiny issues. Good burglar system. Listen. Oh, you can't. Nobody can sneak up on you at night. And if you think they can sneak up on you, first of all, this fell off on us. I reinstalled it nice and solid. This molding is going to fall off on us. And when I call the dealer and I tell him all this, oh, this is all normal. You bought a trailer. It's normal. You guys hear that? Like, how can a brand new 2020 trailer squeak like it's 10 years old? Another molding issue. Same thing. Molding's going to fall off at one point. I'm sure it is. But it's okay. It's normal. There's all kinds of issues with trailers, the dealer said. Now let's go into the bathroom. What if somebody sneaks up in the bathroom? Oh. Won't be able to. Burglar alarm. When you go take a shower, make sure that these moldings, they're not just hanging there. Because when you travel, they fall off. All of them. So you can't really take a shower. So it's kind of good because it, it tells you, hey, the moldings are, are not on. So you better put them back before you take a shower or else you're going to wet the whole place. Now, ladies, you're going to love Jayco, especially this model. Your man will not have a choice to close the toilet seat when he's done. Because if he doesn't, when you try to open the door, oh my God. The door doesn't open because the toilet seat's in the way. Way to go, Jayco. Good thinking on that. Sell it to the ladies first. Well, there's all kinds of other things. You probably can't see it, but right around here, there's a screw sticking out about half inch through the uh, flooring. But it's okay. My dealer, RV Canada, please remember this name, everybody. RV Canada, Ottawa. I can't say don't go there, so you should. Either way, it's normal. That's normal. The squeak's normal. Everything in this trailer that is broken, defective, not working, is normal. Let's take a look at uh, some molding issues again. Oh my God, look at this. Brand new, 2020. It's normal. It happens. Don't worry about it. Go camping and enjoy it. How in the hell can you enjoy a trailer you just paid $65,000 for and not have something decent? I had a 2008 before this one. We wanted to upgrade. We didn't want any problems. Guess what? I should have kept my 2008. It was in better shape than this brand new thing. Now, the slide. You can't see it on the camera. Right now, after I adjusted it, took me three hours, because I don't really know how this thing works, but I figured it out. It's still about half an inch inc uh, inclined outwards. Before, it was three inches inclined outwards. When we did our walk around with the salesman, by the way, he was standing 
on this spot so there's no squeak. He made us walk around him while he was taking notes on his little paper. I pointed the slide out to him and I said, hey, what's going on with this? Why is it so crooked? Oh, don't worry. We're not done our walkthrough. We're going to walk through and fix every little thing that, that is wrong with the, with the unit. Don't worry about it. Now, there's a lot of other stuff that I am forgetting. But uh, buyer beware, I guess. If you want to buy Jayco, I'd keep looking. And if you want to buy something at RV Canada, I would run. Good luck.